set that aside and I'm going to I think I might go ahead and bind my book you guys want to learn how to well that's if I can find the spine I've been having trouble finding the spine to this thing it's not this one is it it's not this one this one is when are we going to do that yeah this isn't the one I, I cut the spine out of stiff mat board and I put it in here with all the other stuff and there it is and I have already gessoed the one side remember um, so this one is really, and I'm going to put that on the outside and leave this on the inside. So let's just do it. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of putting it off and the hubby is upstairs busy and you guys are here. So what better time, right? What better time? But this is a big one. So I need all the space I can get. So this is the front. This is the back. Put the gessoed side out. Now it looks like it might be just a tad. Is it everything in the camera? Oh, when are we going to do that? Swap goodies. Um, I am going to... Today's the 4th. Um, I will put it up by Tuesday. I'll put up a Tier 2, Tier 3, swap your junk, swap, and I'll... Um, do you think 35 items is good? If you think, if you like the idea of the one we did, I could just copy that and just add some more stuff because I, I did think it would be kind of fun to add a few more, th a few more choices. I was just in a rush when I did it the first time. Okay, so I think that's, I'm going to grab my tape and my glue. This is book binding tape. And this is... PVA glue, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's going to be what I need. So I'll grab this too. That one's not open. This one looks open. Okay, this one's open. So I have my glues, I have my tape, I have my scissors to cut my tape. What I need to do here is leave just a tiny bit of room here so that it can do this. If it's pressed all the way up against it, it's not gonna be able to give, and I'm gonna tape it with some really heavy duty tape. So it's important for me to try. In fact, I'm wondering if it might be a good idea for me to try to get one of these to stay down and keep control of it. Let's see if I can do this with the washi tape might work might not but if i try i'll know so let's see that way i can just manipulate the other one okay that's that's that works a little bit not going to completely slide away okay this tape is pretty tough to get off here and i don't the, the brand is not on there but if you look for book binding tape you'll have no trouble finding it i think that i am going to go overlap Everything's looking good. I'm just going to put it down. Now I'm going to trim it down here to tear it off. Maybe. There we go. Alrighty. So I can feel that's a nice, good bending area there. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. See if the tape will help me. Okay, so I'm going to have this one about right there. Now, I've done this several times, but um, not on a book this big. Because um, this is how I add the spine to a little golden book. Now, I knew that my tape was going to overlap some of this, but I still wanted this to be done. 
before. Oh, Jody, uh, we started the binding on the big journal. That's what we did. And we cut up, what else did I do? Oh, I cut up some of these little, I would print out some of my tags, the ones in the printables, and because I want to put them in the journal, and I did them on um, photo paper. So they look really nice. Those are those are photographs that I took of of flowers. I gotta do I gotta fix this because I put this tape too close. And then I take them and put them in GIMP and I alter them or um, manipulate them. I don't know what the term would be, but uh, I love to do that. And that's what I had planned on doing. All of my digital art originally was going to be on my photographs. It was going to be a whole thing. And then I met Jelly Plate Printing, and that changed everything. So now I'm addicted to Jelly Plate Printing, and I haven't taken a picture of a flower or anything in two months. But I'm thinking my my husband came up with the idea of uh, we could we could. This tape is really good. Let's just put it that way. My husband came up with the idea. Okay, I want to make sure that this is very attached. And no wrinkles if I can help it. There we go. There we go. So now that is very attached to my three-inch spine, you guys. Isn't that fabulous? I am so excited. This is going to be the biggest journal because the one I made was big, like, the, you know, all of this. But my spine was, was not big. And so this will be the biggest one. I have a um, Bisquick box that I want to use really bad. But I needed a hard cover for what I was doing. Okay. Got it all pulled up. Going to flip it over. Really good spine going on here. This tape's so good. It's taking the tape off of my desk that's holding things together. <laughs> Okay, so I want to make sure that I'm in here as much as I can be, but I'm going to take this very, very tightly, pull that down, and then I'm going to do the same thing over here, pull that down, okay? So then I'm going to bring this one, which I didn't leave as long, but it will be plenty fine, and then this one. There we go just as tight as I can. I don't I don't want it to be wobbly, you guys. In fact, um, well, wobbly in the wrong way. I am a little surprised to see when some people um, use just fabric without putting down the tape first. Just, just glue and fabric. That, I don't know that I would be able to do that. I would feel like it needed more. But then I guess it depends on how the journal's getting used, right? That would make a difference. Okay, so that's nice and straight right there. I'm going to cut this off right at the edge. So it overlaps. Can you see that? It overlaps the other one, but it doesn't go over to the back. All righty. Now let's do that again. Hi, Wilma. You need to put under your videos what you use in the link for Amazon so you can get a kickback. I know, Belinda. You know what the problem with that is? Is, is that um, I haven't figured out. Every time I try to set up my Amazon um, affiliates, uh, I have. they say I haven't registered my site. I don't know. It gets complicated. And so I just end up moving on to something else because I, I squirrel on it. And it's like, that's not fun to, to pre get pressed. I'm, I'm, it's amazing I managed this. I had to go into YouTube and get my um, key. There's a, there's a key you have to have a code so that you can do live streaming through OBS. So I was, I was proud of myself for getting that figured out because, and I want to figure out how to do it in Facebook too, because I think that being able to see uh, me and the, what I'm doing is, is, uh, is my favorite way. So check this out, guys. There we go. We now have an awesome... Oh, this is going to be so fabulous. 
I am going to put the coolest corners on this. I just now have to decide what the heck I'm going to do with this cover. Didn't I just don't know. I don't know. I know that I got to gesso it. So let's do that because um, if I forget to do that and try to do anything else, that would be bad. I think I'm going to 3D it. What do you think? I'm going to... Yes. Oh, my goodness. So much room. I'm I'm just going to have the best time filling it up. And I'm going to make that a series, too. Uh, I have a few series in mind that I want to... And, uh, you know, just things we can do together. And you guys can watch from step one to, to step 100. Because uh, that's... That's fun. I'm going to use a big a big brush because this is a big surface. And I have to gesso everything. I have to gesso the tape. I have to... Uh, I'm going to give the spine another coat. Um, because then whatever I do to it, it will all react the same. Because the gesso will have primed it. Oh, you should, Belinda. This, this is just a, a book from... Uh, Oh, I think it was, um, might have been an estate sale. And it had some really lovely art images in it that I thought might would come in handy. So I grabbed it and then it just sat and it sat and it sat. And I thought, okay, what I want, and this is my recommendation when you do make your own journal, if you want a big one, what I want is so that the whole eight, eight and a half by 11 Oh, uh, yeah, this one is, this one is a leftover piece from when I was doing Mads, uh, canvas. So this is a mold piece. I'm going to probably do stenciling with 3d, uh, with the mold molding paste. So it'll be a different technique and I have to figure out what stencil I want to work with. And I have to figure out, you know, kind of, I don't know. I'm actually just really loving the blues now because of the mermaid thing I'm working on. My brain really gets involved in whatever I'm working on. So I get inspired. That's why I put my nails uh, for a while in those spring colors because I had to get the spring done and I needed to have the influence around me. So I, I got to go through my stencils and figure out exactly um, what I want to use. And I've been watching... There's a, a, oh goodness, is it Kim Creative or something? But then she has a title, uh, I don't know, Bellis, Bell Studios or something. But she comes up on my, when it's on automatic uh, play on YouTube. And she's been doing some art pages that have a lot of texturing in them. And then she does like Marta and, uh, you know, does the alcohol ink sprays and stuff, which is what I want to do. Because that's my thing now. I really do love the alcohol inks. And I would want to incorporate that in here. Because the inside will mostly be... Uh, there's going to be a lot of jelly plate pages in here. That are uh, just ones that I like and left over from doing other things. And uh, so that's, that's the direction I'm going to go. And I got to talk to Jennifer today, Jody. She's doing good. She's getting there. She lost her printer in the move. She doesn't know where it is. So she's thinking about buying a new one. <laughs> but I'm just so happy that she's uh, she's in her place. She's got her internet. And so she can survive anything else. Poor thing. It's been uh, a hectic two months. That's for sure. Boy, this is going to be a wonderful surface. I don't know about other people. I see a lot of uh, reference to breaking. Uh, you have no idea how to bind single pages. Um, well, I'll show you because I'm going to be doing it in this journal. Um, there's there's five different ways to do it. But there's simple. There's uh, uh, tape. There's um, in that little. Well, you can look at that journal when you get it, sweetie. I sent it out. Um, I have a book that I bought that is 14 inches long, nine inches high. That would work right. Yes, let me let me show you. Oh, don't fall in there. Um, where's that? So this one 
is 11 and a half tall and seven, eight and a half wide. So yeah, yours would be even bigger. Oh, way to outdo me, Belinda. <laughs> but yeah, um, when you get that little, little golden book, look in there. The pages are um, taped together with book binding tape. And that's one way, but you can sew them with fabric. Pieces of fabric would be pretty. There's a, a lot of different ways that you can do it, uh, depending on the look that you want to get. I want to have this do a really good base layer so that I don't have to worry about anything reacting differently in one area or another. Glad to know she got moved. She did. Uh, she did tell her I called her two in the morning her time. <laughs> she did. It was funny. It, she loves getting calls though. That's the thing is that it was. Uh, <laughs> she's she's gonna be just so happy to be back back in the uh, back in the fold again. She had just been. She she kept telling me she says that she's getting depressed, and I told her that she's not allowed to get depressed because we're sitting here waiting for her to come back and depression is just going to slow her down. So she needs to just uh, skip that, that uh, uh, temptation and don't, don't fall for it. Don't fall for the urge to get depressed. Yeah, it's tough to fight it, but <laughs> oh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be an awesome year. You guys, every bit of it, it's just going to be wonderful. I am always excited to see everybody's uh, learning so much and then making friends and uh, sharing and getting more confidence in everything that they're doing. And uh, that's just really what this is all about. Okay. I'm going to have to figure out getting the edges. But I at least got... Yes, she um she just had to get uh she ha she's happening to get a few things figured out, but um very soon she'll be in here like she used to be. But you know she's in Australia, so uh eight, two in the afternoon is eight o'clock in the morning for her. That's usually before this all happened, she would get a hold of me at um at about two in the afternoon. And so uh, that's when we'll go back to having our video chats. And uh, so I'm just going over my spine or my uh, edge a little bit. Trying not to get anything on the on the inside cover. But if I do, I'll figure a way to fix it. Because I just, it's got to all get gessoed. It just has to. Oh, wait. But now I got gessoed fingers that I'm moving around in there with. So we'll see what uh, what I end up doing. See if I end up messing it up too much. I suppose there's nothing that can't be fixed, though. Alrighty, there it is. So now, you guys, after this is completely dried, um, the, I'll be able now to at least go to, to the next phase, which I've been putting off. Uh, doing all that stuff which is going to get me to the next phase so that really was kind of a you know shooting myself in the foot kind of thing um, and I hate doing that I don't I don't like uh, not having myself continue to roll forward um, stopping and getting unmotivated is uh, just not an option anymore right it's just not an option for me so now I'm going to try to really quick clean up because I did get some gesso around the edges. Quite a bit of it, actually. Okay. Now I'm also going to try and... Oh, I don't know if it's fine. There we go. There we go. Boy, it's going to look nice. It's going to be a nice, solid. That is gesso. That is gesso. It is 
the um, store brand, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, let's see, at uh, Hobby Lobby, this is the store brand, and they run this at 50% off a lot of times, so I only paid $7.50 for it, and I've been using it all this time, but it says right here, this medium body acrylic gesso offers exceptional coverage and artist quality results as a ground for acrylics, oils, and other paint media used on canvas, wood, linen, or any porous non-oily surface. Uh, dries to permanent water resistant and flexible texture. May be tinted with acrylic colors or thinned with water. So it's a it's an awesome product. Oh, the binding tape, yes. And I, I think I think it was about ten dollars uh, for the roll. But I don't use it all on every single thing. I just use it when when it's going to be um, important that you know. I don't know. And you guys, I also my husband and I found this over the summer and we found probably about 10 rolls of this but it's some sort of um i don't know if it's casting or medical but this stuff is so sticky and i will use that a lot so i have two options and it's nice and wide too so i have the two of those that i'll use i i'm sure you know there's been people that use duct tape they use anything and everything it uh it just just all depends on the the product you know the product that you want to use or what you have where did I get uh, the binding tape? Uh, I buy I buy almost everything on Amazon because we have Prime. So I go on Amazon, which let's see, I could do that right now and, and find something for you. Uh, let's see if I go over here. And open a new, oh, here it is. Open new window. And Amazon. Um, another uh, person on YouTube that would give you really good um, advice and guidance is, of course, Nick the Booksmith. I don't watch a lot of her videos, but I have watched a few. And um, But I'm going to put in here book, binding, tape. Um, I think that's only two inches. I don't know. It's not two inches. Yeah, it is two inches, right? Yeah, just about two inches. And, of course, they're going to give me everything in the world from... Okay, book repair tape, two inch wide. Um, that's the one that I think I bought, and it's by Lineco. Um, it's 1520, marked down from 1994. I thought it was only... Some sort of hinging tape, which I don't know if that's meant for books or not. Book guard premium, ooh, 38 bucks. Bucks. Ooh. Book repair for 14. They have it in all kinds of uh, different colors and stuff. Um, I just got white because I just didn't see the point and it was going to be covered up no matter what I did. So Lineco, L-I-N-E-C-O, seems to have uh, different types. But that's, if you uh, don't want to go through Amazon, I would uh, compare the prices um, with 3M Book Tape says, prolongs books life, transparent, permanent. I've never used that. I don't know, but it's only $7.44, so you could try it and let us know. But you're looking at about 15 bucks if you buy the... Um, the brands that are actually intended for that. So it's a cloth tape. Ooh, they have a really cool washi tape. I better stop. 
<laughs> you guys all get going on a um, shopping. Let's see. 3D like the cover of your little lavender journal. Okay, I seen that one. Hello, Nordy. Seen those. Oh, am I going the wrong way? Might be. Let's go back that way. And then when the uh, little chat box is over here on this side, I can see it better. Oh, you found it. Good job. Good job. Okay, so that's something that uh, everyone's going to have to figure out, though, if they uh, what they're going to adhere the covers to the new spine if they're going to re do uh, an old book let's say uh, it's just damaged and you want to repair it let's say you want to start from scratch and you want to cover the whole thing and uh, do what I'm doing here or you can use the book cover in its original condition obviously and do wonderful things with it and um, so a lot of people have done that they leave like we do with the little golden books but I've seen them um, beautiful antique books done lots of things but yeah it's going to be um this one is going to be mostly personal but we'll i'm going to incorporate a little bit of of njjm and ajjm just because that's that's part of my life that's what my life exists around and so I'm excited. I've already been, every time I'm doing anything, I throw something in this box over here, which is all going to go in here. And it's going to be so fun. It's just going to be fabulous. I'm excited. I think I might try to go put this on another table, though, because I don't think we need to sit and watch this dry. Okay, I'll be right back. Jimbo found this at the bins the other day and uh, it's so cute. I don't, I don't, I guess it could be uh, made into a cover. It's on like a cardboard paper. It's a poster, a cardboard poster, not cardboard, but cardstock, but it's pretty cute. I got to get all this gesso off, uh, gesso off me so I don't get it on anything else. I'm a messy crafter. Messy, messy, messy. So yeah, this is uh, pretty fun. And I don't know, I, I'm going to probably put it in the store because I, I don't, I don't have, I already made one Paris uh, journal for my niece and I don't really have a thing for it. So I don't plan on making uh, one for me or putting anything like that in mind. This, you guys, is all of the stuff that I've been collecting, the pages and everything. This doesn't actually belong in here. This is going to be for the trifold event that we're going to do kits. And that's the next thing i got to get my butt moving on. I'm always coming up with something. This, um, I was thinking about scanning these in for the mermaid, but either which way, they're going to go in my book. Tyvek sheets. Awesome awesome you guys that's see that's great for them for other people to know yeah you guys uh share that information with each other because i haven't used it i don't know anything about it and so i can't um and i oh see this was a, a gift so i'm saving that to put in there this is my uh, little journal that I that I was doing mixed media in, and I've only things I've done in there now lately because I, I haven't been doing anything fun. In that sense, is just uh, putting uh, paint off and doing a little bit of uh, stamping because I liked this bunny and I wanted to keep an image of it. This has some uh, 3D texturing uh, wipe off on it, along with this page, and then I just put every ounce of paint that I had left on that one, and. Uh, so that's all that's left in, in there. I, I want to get back to doing something fun with that too. And I have a coffee filter I was gifted. And I want to put that in my journal. But I'm thinking I need to put together a pile of things that need to go to get coffee dyed. This is just paper because I don't throw away anything. Um, Double-sided tape and glue. Huh. It says glitter glue but no glitter, glitter in it. Let's see. I used art glitter glue. 
I guess if I already have it, I should, well, you could try. I mean, the thing is, is that if it doesn't work for you, you can always do the next, uh, uh, next idea on the next one. Can't have too many journals, can you? And if you can, don't tell me because I don't want to know. <laughs> I added this. I found this and stuff. It's just some sort of advertisement, but it's the shape of a cell phone. I thought it was funny. Uh, leftovers. This, you guys. I have Bingo Club, which I have not done since I think we didn't. I, we haven't done it since November. But uh, AJJM Bingo Club, I did these little things when I would send out the prizes. I would send these little things out with it. So I thought that was fun. Uh, this was, uh, when I was doing spraying for, uh, when we did that, uh, glue gun, um, stencils. That was fun. That was fun. So I'm going to put that in there somehow. And these, of course, are business envelopes that are the return ones. I've been saving them. Uh, I have a piece of metallic fabric. And, um, these are some leftover card stocks from other projects that I thought I would see if I could fit them in some cardboard I wanted to use. So at the end somewhere is actually my pages. Let's get to those. See if we can get, get some signatures going. Maybe do you remember me when I was uh, messing around with the new inks? That's the page that I did. And I'm going to go ahead and put it inside of here because I thought it was cool. There's no sense to... <laughs> that one I don't know about. I don't know if I'm going to keep that one. This is what, what was uh, intended for the the um, mermaid. And a glasoline bag I'm going to put in there. These, I'm going to back off of these for right now. I'm going to do something else with those, I think. This is a very large piece of light blue vellum. It's really, you hear that crinkle? Isn't that awesome? I'm going to put that in there because I really don't have anything else to do with it. And it's so big, it'll be perfect. Junk mail. Cardboard. This this is a page. This was for the mermaid. This is a page. So, and this and this would look... This, if I did this, it would look really good. That would look awesome. So those two... And then this is a page. I got to figure out, you guys, how many, how many signatures am I gonna am I gonna put? I guess that looks okay. Into um, this journal, and how many? Those are my envelopes. I like this pink here. But let's see if they do it this way. Cause the other one, there we go. Um, I don't know if I like that one. I like those two together. Um, let's see if we can transition from this pink a little better. Put that there. Vellum cardstock. Is that the same as what you just held up? Um, it wasn't a cardstock, or it was just vellum. It, it's just a large piece of vellum, and I don't know how or why that it was. Um, it what just one piece. That's the thing. Jim will bring home stuff, and it'll just be one piece. I went to a secondhand store yesterday. I was going to share my findings with you guys, but I think I completely forgot. I'm going to put this in, but I'm going to put it upside down because I'm crazy like that. And I'm going to find a bigger page. And then I think I'm going to call this one, I'm going to call this a signature right now because I don't know where I'm going with these. I don't know how much. I don't know how much to put into each signature. That kind of is cool with the green, and then this blue looks nice with this green. So I'm going to do that. But actually, let's do the yellow. And then we will add this, because the yellow and that will, will blend well. And let's see if we can pop this green off of there too. And I'll bring this one up and this one down. Oh, this is going to be so awesome, you guys. And then if I do this one, 
Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I don't know if I've run out of pages. Have I run out of pages? Getting low. I'm going to have to do something. Because I don't like... Maybe I'll just have to skip this one. Because I like this one. I like that. That's going to work. That's going to work really well. Oops. Get up there. And what I don't know is about this. I guess. I mean, it's not, not terrible. This has been gessoed, so I get to decorate this one once I'm in there. Yes, Jody. It's, 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 uh, because I'm using the jelly prints, there's just, in fact, I could, I have the, I was going to put some of these. But they're so stiff, I just don't know. I mean, but I was going to put this mixed media paper in there to give me a blank, a blank page to work with. And then um, some, probably some white cards. Well, not white cardstock. I'll show you what I got. I got a bunch of this stuff over here. Oh, you guys are gonna be like what so this is what I have and I I went through my card stock and I decided I didn't need all of it so I was gonna put these in grab bags and they're just big chunks of different card stocks so I was gonna take some out of it and put it in here because um, that's just a lot of card stock to get put into uh, um, grab bags it'd be, it'd be I don't know just be too much so I thought that I would hi Kim so I thought I would go through it a little bit and see if there's anything that might match what I'm working on so right here where's my other signature I have a couple this and this and this you guys are going to be amazed when we flip through it and we get to see all these pages all this color would it help if you put the media paper in as a single instead of a false one that's a good idea jody that's a good idea because i really am just i that it's just really too thick to bend so i'm going to do that when, when and if i put it in there i'll uh so i have those so now how tall did i say my book was it's 11 right hi gwen if it's 11 inches tall, let's see, that's a good one. Let's grab this one. Oh, I don't like those dots, but see, that's why, you know, you choose it. Oh, that's why it's in there. I don't want some flowers in there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this one would look good with a few things. And this one might. What about the pink? Yeah, the pink will work. Okay, so I'll take these three for right now. And I'm going to cut an inch off the top. And you guys, I'm going to just wing it. I'm not even going to use a, a cutter or try to cut it straight or nothing. Um, I just know that the, the book is 11 inches tall. So I need to have at least... And it's never good to cut that many. Have you ever tried to do that? You cut so many and then it bends. And some of them are cut right. Some of them aren't. There we go. That's good enough. I'll fix it when I have to. Okay, so now this one is awesome. I really like that. And where can I put that? I'm going to set this paper. I'm going to pull out this drawer. And then set this paper on this drawer down here so that I can reach it. Oh. And that leaves me... So these I'll just add. I'll uh, tape them together and add them like that. How long are these though? My rulers are way too, too uh, invisible. Okay, so I'm going to have to cut an inch off this one too. Well, that's not a problem at all. I can do that right here, right now. Okay, quarter, 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 quarter inch, I think. I don't know, honestly, if that's what it is. Let's see. Nope. 
<laughs> it's a little bit more. <laughs> Whatever I do, I just got to match it to this one, though. My dogs are out there barking at the neighborhood again. Let's see. Let's get this so that I can at least match it up a bit. Because I'm going to... I'm going to show you guys um I could take it over and sew it really quick but I could do it both ways I could do one with tape and one with sewing so you could see putting them together come on a straight line for me I am going to do something fun and I'm going to put the little uh, broken edges on the outside and leave them there Unless the book isn't that wide. I don't remember. I don't remember if I have to cut them off. I have to cut them off. I kind of want to keep them though. I'm going to go figure out how what Did I say the book was eight and a half? Does anyone remember what I said? Uh, oh, never mind. No, it's going to need a half inch off of it. So I'm just going to do that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something. I'm going to take off with a wave. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. Oh. <laughs> do you guys realize what a bonehead I am? Now I have two decorative edges and I can't tape it together. I'll tape that one in in a different way. I, I just am too creative for my own good. Right? I'm a bonehead. Okay, so... I am going to get this ready and I'm going to find a piece of fabric you guys and I'm going to jump off of this uh, camera for a minute and go right over there and you'll still see me I'll just have my back to you and then I'll come back and show you what I've done but I know I can do it with paper or fabric and I think you guys I'm going to do it with paper because um, that will be easier I think. So what I'm going to do, no, I have a fabric over there I'm going to use. I'll be right back. Oh, if you can see the floor right here, though, I have because I've been organizing things. <laughs> Pull out this chair. Get the stuff off the chair. Okay, so I'm turning it on. I have a lamp right here. I'm going to use this fabric uh, piece right here. Sew it on to the outside of this one. Or the inside. I'm going to sew it to the inside of this one. Let's see. I'm going to use a zigzag stitch. it up a bit all right so that's one side now I'm going to bring the other one and I'm going to tape it going the other direction. Or no, not tape it. Sew it going the other direction. And try to get it to bend inside of my sewing machine area arm here. doesn't want to bend multimedia paper is tough okay so I'm gonna clip this right at the bottom I'll make it all pretty when I get over there Just turn off my storm machine okay 
chair slid on me. There we go. So I had bought this uh, two or two or three inch. I'm not sure. I use rulers every five seconds around here. Yep, this is a uh, two inch, um, kind of a burlap ribbon. It has a really pretty print on it. So I grabbed that because it was already by the machine. And I sewed a zigzag, which um, because I have so much stuff over there, the, uh, the paper kept hitting something and was, uh, had to get the cats in for the night so the animals won't get them. Yes, definitely. Oh, goodness. Anyway, so my zigzag stitch is really uh, wonky, but I can easily, very easily, and I don't want to use anything really um, fancy because, like I said, I was going to multimedia on um, these pages. So I'm looking through, and I was going to try to use that. Um, uh, you know what's funny? The only one that I, that I don't see in here is the one that I wanted. But I'll use the peacock one because I can't find the, the feathers one. It's probably somewhere else. But uh, this one's pretty. And I'll just try to incorporate it into whatever I decide to do on this page. Ah, <laughs> he's saying hi. He was walking on the page or on the keyboard. That's cool. My dogs. Oh, if they could be down here with me, the things they would want to do. I put a gate up and uh, don't let them down here occasionally. When my husband is home on evenings or weekends, I will let the larger dog, Molly, she misses being down here. She used to have, when I had my Scotties, they were all down here, always. We had beds on the floor for them, and they would just come down and go to sleep under the table on their bed. Um, and then Molly loves to be down here, but she, she likes to get in trouble, too, because she's always going to get her nose. She'll sit and just chew on the corner of a book. And I'll finally notice, because I'm busy or, uh, I don't know, just didn't notice what she was doing until uh, I see the corner of the book is chewed up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you can't be down here anymore if you're going to be like that. You could have stayed down here, laid down, and just been with me, but you just had to get in trouble. Remember, this is the Helmar 450 Quick Dry Adhesive. That's the one I always use um, for these type of things. I could get the, the Yoohoo out, but... It, uh, that one was there, and so that's what I used. Okay, so now I have the stitching covered up, only because stitching really on that side probably just in the, got a little bit crooked on this one. But now um, this side, I'm going to cut the threads. Cut the threads. And the ends. So you could cut a piece of paper two inches, not paper, but cardstock, um, and then give it a, you know, a bit of a bend in the, in the center. You could use uh, a piece of fabric. You could use the um, book binding tape. And then, and I forgot to cut the one inch off, didn't I? So now it's going to be too wide for my book, probably. I don't know. I'll figure it out one way or another, however it needs to be done. But now I have, isn't that lovely? Yeah, it's, um, it's this. It's, uh, I got it from China and it's burlap, fabric burlap trim ribbon something but it's so beautiful and i because you know all the time my thing uh for a long time has been a shabby chic feel so whenever i see stuff like that i grab it so um let's see this this uh paper might look good with, with that pink and if I do, let's see, I think it's eight and a half inches wide. Eight and a half or eight. I'm just going to do eight. I want to have tabs on, on the pages. 
let's see so I'll get this out to about there fold it down I got to take an inch off the top of everything that I use And then there we go. Now, yeah, see, I'm going to have to cut those off, but that's okay. I'll, I, you know what? I just uh, live and learn, live and learn. I get going too fast, especially in the evenings. Uh, my brain starts going faster than it should. And then I skip steps. And it's important for me to slow down and think about what I'm doing. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this one over here. Maybe if there's, I think there's some pink on this side. Yeah, right there. That's a pretty pink. And I want the long one on the other side and the short one here. There we go. So there's another thinner page without making it bulky. And this, I gotta find that other, there it is. So this has one, two, three. This has a hard star, or no, that's a paper. That's kind of a paper, that's, that's more like a paper. That's two, let's find something. Um, let's put that vellum in there. There we go, there we go. Um, this needs a bigger page in here too, but boy, I like the way that looks together. Do you see that? Isn't that nice? Oh, look at there. We got to take the 1999 scrapbooking paper cottage collection, dark blue plaid. Not funny. Um, Anything that I don't get right, I can trim up and fix, so I'm not worried about uh, edges that aren't perfect or anything that's just not the way that I my brain works. So um, now I've got to remember that things are getting too tall here. Too, too tall. Okay, so I've got to cut off an inch at least off the top of this, which I think I might try to see if my rotary, I don't know, this isn't a rotary, what is it? It's a, it's like a titanium blade. Um, yeah, no, that says 11 right there. So then what am I cutting off? Just this, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so this one will need an inch off of it. Oh, I cut it off when I cut that. I don't know. I don't know why it showed it. I don't know. Okay, so now I could add this. That would look nice with the peacock. Is that? Yeah, okay. Okay, so there's that. Now I have, I wanted this against this pink. I thought that was pretty. So what do I have here? I have two signatures. These could be two signatures. And what I need to have happen though, is I need to make more pages. And I'm gonna show you something here. So I need this to be 11 inches tall. Oh, it's already been cut. And I want to take two of these. They don't have to match at all. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to wing it like I always do, ladies. We're just going to cut that right off again. Of 
Okay, so now if I want to have, <sighs> I want eight inches here. So, but then I need nine inches. So I want to cut this off at nine inches. So now, I usually um, have near me, right here, a scoreboard, which you guys are so dirty. I used to do everything on this. This used to be my main work, sur work surface. And so I, um, it's really messy. Really, really, really messy. So, but what I want to do is I want to score this at an inch, wherever. Wherever I can find a number. And this little thingy is inside of here. And if I look at the lines, they're lining up pretty well. I'm going to go to here and I'm going to score this. Make sure. Okay, so now I want this bent. I want this folded over where that score line is. So I take, I'm taking two 12 by 12s. I cut I'm one inch off the top because that's what I need to have. And now I'm going to glue together these two flaps. And that's going to be my book page. One there, one there. So going to glue this one and I'm not getting real precise about anything because um, we'll see I'm just in a rush and my brain isn't working like that it's working like this so winging it it is because this isn't going to be the most important part of the book and it's just one page um, in my very own personal journal. So if I have to, I can cut off as much as I want to make it perfect. It can end up being five inches tall if that's as tall as it ends up getting after I get done, huh? Making everything perfect. I cut, I measure none and cut seven times when I'm in this frame of mind. But this is how I also can do, um, you can uh, make a, a uh, cardboard box, cereal box. Let's say you don't want a two inch spine. Say you want a one inch spine. You do this same type of technique and you can create a one inch spine with the um, cardboard box. You just cut it, score it, and then um, trim it, or glue it and then trim it. Okay, so now I can cut all of this maybe. This blade is probably, um, this blade is probably dull, but I can probably get somewhat of a straight line here. There we go. Just cut all that off damage that I did earlier. Make it all as straight as possible. Good, Jody. I'm glad. I try I try every time we do these, you know. I love doing the socializing. I will socialize all the time. But I find that if I keep my hands moving and keep focused on doing something, then at least we all we all came away with something, okay? So now this is my center point of my pages. So now I have basically a layout, but now I don't like how that looks. So what I do is I come in and uh, put some washi tape on it. And you can do another piece, like you could use a piece of the paper that you cut off something else. You could lay that down. You could do uh, a punch on the edge. Um, I have one right, where did I put that thing? I might have put it away, but I had one here that, um, here it is. 
also say I wanted to I wanted to um, create something pretty. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I will show you what I was referring to. Come on. <laughs> Wasn't letting go. So let's say you come along and then you can use this piece of paper and you can go over it like that. So you can do some really pretty stuff. You could use lace. You could use ribbon. You could use anything that you can get stuck down. But a lot of times, just to make it simple, I usually just grab some uh, washi tape that looks nice with it. I put the glue right over that seam. And then I put my washi tape down. And this washi tape, I got lucky. Look how cute it looks with those. Uh, actually, is adorable right there. And I won't mind having the accent. It actually adds to the page. So now I come over here. Now this one's going to be just as uh, just as nice. It's going to have the same uh, combination of colors that I needed to make the green and the burgundy come together. So I got lucky. Every time I pull, I always end up letting go of it. It's just part of my charm. Let's put it, let's, let's just call it that for now instead of clumsy or awkward. Part of my charm to know that I will let go of it every time. Okay, so now I have a really awesome uh, extended page here where I can put this in one of my signatures. Or I could start a new signature, but I'm going to add this one right here so you can kind of see. Now, I think I ended up making it an inch shorter. So you can do your measurements right. No, I made it exactly eight inches. Okay, so all of this has got to get cut off, I think. I think I've mismeasured some, mis something out here. Yeah, that's nine inches. That's not supposed to be nine inches. I'll figure that part out. Won't be a problem at all. That's a nice solid page to put... Um, like, see, this is the thing. When I get my, my letters, you guys, look, I get to put them on these beautiful pages. I could put them on here. Oh, I'm just, I just can't wait. I really, I need to just get this thing done because I'm so excited. I've been stirring up a few things to, to get uh, going on. I'm going to do a couple, let's see. I don't want anything too loud. I got a, a nice blue in here I could work with. There's two blues, actually. Let's use these two together real quick, and I will um, see what I can figure out. There's a bergen or a plum in there too. These are all going into. Um, they're all going to go into this month. Not right now, but after I'm not busy with everything else. This month. Um, I'm going to do another set of, a live set of uh, grab bags. Get some more stuff going. Out the door. So now I uh, made that 11 inches tall, so I'm going to be bending it this way. But I have to decide is how I'm going to attach this one because I've shown you the sewing one and then the gluing one. And so let's just cut this at eight inches. So if this is how long? If this is 12, just under 12. Cut off four inches. Use a lot, math a lot more than I planned. That's what was really hard for me with quilting was um, how much math I needed sometimes. Oh, little squares. Hi, Maria. So we're just working on that junk journal of mine that I'm going to get started. So now these two are this are the um, these two are the size that I need to have one page uh, on each side. And I've lost my ruler. I didn't lose it. Buried it. And now I have an 11 by 8. Close enough. Now, let's do this. Let 
Now this is a pretty blue. What could I, let's see what I have in my, my drawer. Let's use this teal, which is actually kind of weird. It's sticky on both sides, so I'm not sure if maybe I should use that. Maybe not. I don't know what he, he found something that, okay, this will work really well. Look at this. This is like a fun Native American tribal thingy. So the thing about the washi tape is if you put it on both sides with, with the, with, um, the glue, you can, I've sewn through it and, uh, had the, had the, uh, it stayed it didn't tear out of the book come on maybe I should just use the, the yoohoo that might be better plan I already got this far with it okay so now I'm going to tape these together There we go. And then you want to make sure and do the other side. And I always use the glue. I just wouldn't trust washi tape without the glue or uh, stick glue or something, you know. I just haven't had a good, good success with washi tape without glue on it. Okay, so there we go. Now that paper is now ready to be folded in half and used in the journal. So you can find it, uh, a way to put any size paper into your journal. Uh, what you can do, there's going to be one more way I'm going to show you guys something, and then I'm going to probably get off here and go hang out with the hubby um, I'm gonna put this in here by this blue one I think that will look nice so let's say and I did this in Madison's journal let's say I don't like having this short page right here okay so let's say I want there's a page that I that I want to put in there that is um, Well, I could even do it with this, but I wanted it to be a taller piece. Let's let's do it with this one. This one has a little bit of pink in it. That'll look pretty. Okay, so let's say I want this page in my book. Right? So engrossed in watching good. <laughs> I'm engrossed. I keep forgetting to look up. These colors are all starting to look really good together. And you see how I have just absolutely random bold bright things that are all just going to flow well it doesn't this is going to be the most problematic right here uh and i'm going to probably just cover it up so i don't have to worry about it i don't like the dots like that but i liked the green so i can work it out so anyways this is what i'm going to do i've done this before i've done this in madison's journal let me see about my width i think that's i think this is not not over eight inches Nope, it's just under. So I'm going to glue this page to this right at this area here in a decorative way. So now I'm going to do this. Just because this one's here, I have other ones. I could do uh, all kinds of different edges. Um, these I get um, clearance. I very rarely will buy. I, I don't know that I've ever bought anything except for the circle punch, maybe for the ATCs uh, at a price that I wasn't thrilled with because punches are a luxury. Okay, so there's that. Isn't that pretty? Now I'm going to take it. Did I get something on there? I did. I don't know. I don't know. Now, you know what I could do, too? Let's do it this way. And I have not done this before, but I really like doing new things with you guys. So I've decided right now, right this second, I'm going to make a pocket out of this. So I'm going to take the glue and I'm going to go up this side. 
and up this side and I'm not going to go across the top and I'm going to put glue right here in this space because that it can still have a pocket and have some glue at that end right there right so now I'm going to push this down and I'm going to secure it right now remember we, we, we this isn't this this is because we wanted to add a page but I actually added two pages because what I did here is I put this, which I got to make sure I'm going to have to put some washi tape on there because it's it's not a very, um, I, sh I should have used a cardstock page for that technique. But uh, I liked that pink and it worked so well. So I was just, I probably won't put uh, anything in that pocket that would make it struggle anyways. I'll be careful. And um, I'll put this washi tape right here and I'm just going to come up to that edge and put washi tape right here as you can see through it I kind of want to try to get it straight if I can okay so we have this pocket here which is a very delicate pocket I wouldn't recommend you use that type of paper to do it right and what where where our um, middle is let me show you the middle this is the middle right so but look at this this page now that's not being sewn in okay that's that's not getting sewn in that's just glued onto that other page this is sewn in this is sewn in this is sewn in this is sewn in and so on and so on until you get to the center so and I, I think I've done this wrong. Yeah, somehow I, I ended up, I don't know, maybe I don't realize how wide my book is, but um, it's somewhere between eight, eight and nine inches, I think. But I really liked this uh, yellow jelly print with this uh, yellow paper, cardstock actually. So, and I'll figure out a, a more decorative center than what I've got there. And then this page, look at that, look at those together, you guys. Then we come in with some blue. Then we come in with some purple, but there's just enough blue in here to make that work. Then this is a white white uh, text page, so that's fine. Then we've got some pinks and uh, greens, and then greens and pinks over here, and so on and so on, and it just keeps going. And then we have this page we just put in. So uh, Jody, did you did that work? So that's what's that? That's sewing the pages together, gluing the pages together, taping the pages together, and now you can uh, add two pages, a two-fold page or a folded page in by gluing it to one of the pages that's being sewn in. Okay, so that's that's awesome, you guys. We we did a lot. How am I ending up? Yeah, it's my orange one that's nine. That's what keeps messing me up. This is just a, when I was doing, um, when I was doing alcohol inks, this is just the page that was underneath me, but I want it to be in there because I'm going to keep everything good. I'm so glad. So, so glad. That's awesome. So I'm going to go guys. Uh, we have, we have a lot. We got done. Thank you so much for inspiring me. Cause you know what? I just kept sitting on my butt and I was not getting it done. And now I am, I am like way far into my process. How many signatures did I, did I actually do though? I think I still only worked on two, but I have enough here underneath here to do another one. And so, but look at that. I got a lot started and these are the kind of pages that's going to be, uh, really inspiring. Like uh, just imagine what, what I'm going to think up to do with some of this stuff. And, uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to put. What I'm gonna, what my plan is, is to put like things on top of these. I won't alter these at all, but I'm gonna continue to do weird things, uh, collaging or spraying them or doing whatever, whatever comes up. But uh, okay, well, I'm gonna say goodbye, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me over here on YouTube. This was fun, and I'm gonna say it, although I know you have, because I can see the thumbs up. But if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, hit the bell to get notified and give me a thumbs up if you liked this or you got uh, some information out of it that was helpful. You guys have a wonderful evening and I'm going to talk to you later. Bye bye. Mwah.
I need to how do I live how do I end live streaming now I've got to figure this out ladies I found it bye guys <laughs>